Hi guys, this is Abhishek to again today. Today we are going to see on a topic adjectives. What is adjective exactly? It is a very big question. Okay, let us start with a small definition. Adjectives describe or give information about nouns or pronouns. For example, the grey dog barked. The adjective grey describes the noun dog. The good news is that the form of an adjective does not change. It does not matter. If the noun being modified is male or female, singular or plural, subject or object, some adjectives give us factual information about the noun that is like age, size, color, etc. That is called as fact adjectives, can't be argued with but some adjectives show that somebody thinks that something or somebody, nice, horrid, you look beautiful. So these kind of words are opinion adjectives, not everyone may agree with what these words are. If you are asked questions with which whose, what, kind or how many, you need an adjective to be able to answer. There are different types of adjective in the English language. They are like numeric and quantitative, qualitative, possessive, interrogative, demonstrative. Like for example, numeric means 6, 1, 2, 3, these are all numeric. And if you take quantitative, more, all, some, of, more than, enough, and if you take qualitative, color, size, smell, etc. And if you take the possessive, my, his, their, your. And in interrogative, which, whose, what. In demonstrative, this, that, those and these. Now let's go for the comparison. What is comparison? Crazy, crazier, craziest. All these kinds of words come into comparison. But if you take uh, Amu is tall, Job is taller than Amu. Mohan is the tallest of the three. In these three statements, in the second sentence, the word taller is the comparison form of the adjective. The comparative form of the adjective denotes an higher degree of the adjective, tall, when two people or things are compared. In the third sentence, the word tallest is the superlative form of the adjective. The superlative form of the adjective denotes the highest degree of the adjective, tall, when more than two people or things are compared. Here are some simple rules so that you can understand what this comparison is. There will be hardly uh, one, two, three or four rules. Let's start with rule one. Okay, let's start with the rule one. The rule one is for most adjectives, er, that is a, uh, is added to the comparative form and est, est, for the superlative form, tall, taller, tallest, strong, stronger, strongest. Short, shorter, shorter, kind, kinder, kindest. In the rule 2, uh, for adjective ending with E, R is added for the comparative form and ST for the superlative form. Like for example, wise, wiser, wisest, large, larger, largest, fine, finer, finest. So, in the rule 3, for adjective endings with Y, Y is removed and I E R is added for the comparative form and I E S for the superlative form. For example, lazy, lazier, laziest, crazy, crazier, craziest. And in the rule 4, usually for longer adjectives, more adjective is used for comparative form and most plus adjective is used for the superlative form. Rule 5, irregular adjectives, there are some irregular adjectives for which the comparative and the superlative form follow no particular rule. Like for example, good, better, best, bad, worse, worst, little, less and least. So now we can move on to the order of adjectives. Here the rules are where a number of adjectives are used together, the order depends on the function of the adjective. The usual order is value, opinion, size, age, temperature, shape, color, and origin and also material. But let's take an uh, example like value and opinion. The words are like delicious, lovely, charming, and the size we can take words like small, huge, tiny, and words which are compared with age and temperature are old, odd, and young. The shape is round, square, and rectangular, like and so on. In the example part, her lovely old red post box, some small round plastic tables, some charming small silver ornaments. These are the examples for the order of adjectives.